So yes, me, Henry Smailai, with two university degrees at the University of Tirana, I would like to work my entire life as a cashier in the United Kingdoms or in construction, wherever it might be, then work one day as a teacher here in Albania with 100 pounds a week. Hi, my name is Henry, I'm obviously Albanian and I would like to talk about all this fuss that's been going around in the news lately, the invasion of the United Kingdom from the Albanians. Uh, I know that the word invasion is not the most proper way to describe the situation, but you don't take all the words used by the politicians so literally. But I would say the word invasion had a great impact because it was like a wake-up call for our prime minister and the entire state. I've been watching the British news lately and I would like for us together to see a video by the BBC called Why are Albanian migrants coming to the UK? Two years ago, 50 Albanians arrived in the UK in small boats. Last year, it was 800 and this year so far it's been 12,000. I would like to say that these numbers uh, correspond with something like the officer mentioned uh, two years ago there were 50 Albanians, last year 800 and this year 12,000 and that is only one thing that comes to my mind regarding this matter that relates to the third victory of the Albanian elections by our uh, current prime minister Edirama and these numbers show that the management by our government is deteriorating year by year that's why we as Albanians are uh, finding even even the slightest possibility to migrate towards UK, uh, even Germany. And the BBC continues to support what I say with data, actually. Albania's median hourly wage in 2018 was one euro 70, the lowest in Europe. In the UK, it was nine times higher. So the numbers are obvious. We have the lowest wages in the entire Europe. And one global poll in 2018 found that 60% of Albanian adults wanted to leave. 60% of the Albanian adults uh, said they wanted to leave. But if you even ask like uh, adolescents or even uh, kids like f let's say uh, 10 years and up, they would all want to leave Albania. Now the only adults that do not want to leave Albania are uh, the people are the oligarchs and the, the politicians, you know, which are a small minority and the majority of this 40% uh, of adults that don't want to leave are actually our grandparents. Why do Albanian grandparents do not want to leave Albania? Because they think that Albania is actually good because they used to live the majority of their lives in the communist regime under Enver Hoxha, uh, in which they were literally starved. If not starved, they would eat only just bread, uh, like plain bread, and some vegetables and fruit that, you know, Enver Hoxha could manage to uh, produce in the, in the fields. But when it comes to eggs, meat, cheese, yogurt, uh, etc. That was extremely difficult to get for the uh, average Albanian during the communism and they would get those uh, basic necessities uh, rationed. So you would get like one liter of milk or yogurt uh, once in two or three days I believe. Uh, the meat was even scarcer. Uh, the sugar was like I believe one kilogram per month or 15 days. I don't really remember that well but I can ask my grandparents and like they could tell me the the exact numbers. And comparing this like inhumane way that our grandparents used to live during the uh, communist regime under Enver Hoxha, they think that Albania is doing good. Also a fact that is very important here is that the current socialist party is the communist party but just rebranded. In the 1990s when the uh, dictatorial regime of Enver Hoxha fell, uh, the Albanian party of labor, it was called uh, Papasha in, in Albanian, uh, just rebranded its name and made, turned it into the socialist party. So the same members of uh, Albanian party of labor, they just rebranded uh, themselves and they named themselves uh, the Socialist Party. This is very important to show for which party uh, do our grandparents vote and unfortunately they all still vote for the Socialist Party because it reminds them of Enver Hoxha and of that time uh, in which they, they believed that 
Albania was prospering, but obviously prosperity is a matter of perspective. And the numbers show that actually Albania is the poorest country in Europe. In this video, there's actually an Albanian journalist that... Uh, says something about this uh, case which I don't agree with but I'm not going to uh, include her clip because she might delete my channel but she basically said that it used to be uh, very costly we as Albanians used to pay 20,000 pounds in order to go in the backs of the lorries and to illegally cross to the UK uh, and now it's much cheaper but the numbers she's using are not correct uh, I you know uh, have heard cases that uh, have been going for like five thousand pounds in the backs of the lorries so you know smuggling people in the uk is not like a fixed business that has always the uh, fixed prices so it may vary from uh, person to person and i would say it's not that much of a difference for us now paying three thousand pounds to uh, go to the uk illegally by boats uh, than it was back then uh, to pay like five thousand pounds to go in the back of the lorry because if someone has uh, three thousand pounds he's definitely going to find in 2000 more just to go illegally to the UK but I would like to give my own opinion in this matter but before that I would like to read a comment in another BBC video that was an interview actually with our Prime Minister on my site we have around 30 Albanians doing 10 hour backbreaking shifts earning uh, 650 pounds to 1000 pounds a week now I would like to show you my two university degrees uh, I have a bachelor's degree in uh, translation and interpretation at the University of Tirana and I have also a master of science in teaching the English language. And yes, it is true that Albanians are hardworking people because they are willing to go work 10-hour uh, shifts in the UK just to get uh, a proper wage. So yes, me, Henry Smailaj, with two university degrees at the University of Tirana, I would like to work my entire life as a cashier in the United Kingdom kingdoms or in construction whatever it might be then work one day as a teacher here in Albania with 100 pounds a week and I hope that this clarified some of the situation because if you look at my case I am someone with uh, two university degrees and even I uh, cannot find some like a, a proper way of living here in Albania imagine all the other people that do not have that they cannot afford university what are they going to do? Are they going to work with, uh, with 70 pounds per week? Some people get even 60 pounds per week here in Albania. And the only way that you could actually eat food is if you live with your parents. Because if you rent a house, it's almost impossible to like survive just to pay the rent and to eat and the bills. It's it's really impossible here in Albania. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you could leave a like, subscribe and turn the notification bell on. It would be a pleasure for me, from me, Henry Smailai, the Albanian guy. Bye-bye.